Uh, hello, everybody, and welcome. Welcome to the Jesus chat line. Uh, welcome to our first show. Now, some of you um, may recognize, recognize us from uh, myself. When I say us, it's myself and Stephen, uh, my co-pastor, um, from our channel on uh, C-Band. Um, so I guess the first thing, uh, I'd like to thank everybody uh, for tuning in. Um, we are a call-in show, uh, as, we've, as we've always been. Uh, when we're on C-Band, uh, we, you know, we, we took calls, um, we took confessions. Um, we, we, helped, we, helped, we helped everyone out with their, you know, if they're having a difficult time or, or uh, maybe uh, some, some advice for better understanding um, the Bible. Um, but uh, I guess we kind of felt that, uh, you know, to use, to use that old adage, we were um, uh, preaching to the converted, I guess. We, although we did some good work there, we just felt as though the place that is really needing uh, guidance uh, would be the Internet. Uh, there's some very, um, not to get into a lot of detail, but there is quite a bit of um, inappropriate, um, confused, uh, content, we'll say, uh, on the internet. And we just kind of felt as though here is where we needed. So, so that being said, <laughs> just welcome, uh, welcome to the show, and thank you for tuning in. My name is is Richard Brennish, um, and off camera, uh, uh, screening the calls and, and helping me with taking the calls and some of the technical parts of the show is um, is is he's the technical wizard for setting all of this up. <laughs> His name is uh, Stephen Chilton. Um, and him and I, oh, the mic, sorry about that. Uh, uh, so him and I uh, met, met together, uh, met, met each other uh, a couple years back now. Uh, we kind of got involved with helping the youth um, with our, our program, Christ for Teens. And it just kind of it just kind of built from there, didn't it, Stephen? Yes, it did. <laughs> we had some good times. Yeah, it was some fun, and, and we just love to help people. We love we love to help, uh, and we also love we also love our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So, uh, as you can see, it's a call-in show. Um, the number is down uh, at the at the bottom of the screen, as well as. Um, Stephen, what's that's the Skype? Uh, that's for the online uh, that's, to call us. That's online calling. Right. So that, that so you can call it either of them. Um, we'll do our best to to take your calls and 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 help you with anything that you're going through. Um, um, before we go to any oh Stephen, this mic is really it's a real wiggler. <laughs> um, before we uh, go into the calls, I'd like to introduce Stephen uh, Chilton. So when I, when I say Stephen, you know who I'm talking about. It's better polite. Uh, so I'm going to pass the mic off to him so you can, um, for those who don't know him from the C-Band channel. Um, anyway, without further So we are, yeah, we're excited to be here. Um, 
we, we welcome your calls. We, we know that at times it might get a little bit rough, but, um, but, but we, we, we anticipate that. And um, I, I believe that in the end it's going to be worth it. Um, so as Richard said, there's the phone number on the screen that you can reach us with. And um, there's also, you see it where it says Skype. That, that's not what you would enter into um, if you have a, a standard phone. That won't work on a standard phone. You're going to need to have um, a computer or an iPod <laughs> and use Skype. Okay, I'm going to turn it back over to um, Richard, and I think we'll get started with some calls. Um, oh, and one last thing before I hand it over. I just want to thank, we have some members of our, um, some parishioners tonight who have um, vol volunteered their time. To, be, uh, to moderate the channel. Um, you'll see their names up at the top of the um, user list. And um, we appreciate... Thank you. Um, now that is uh, Mr. Stephen, <laughs> as we like to call him around here. Um, Stephen, can we just turn down the hymn a little bit, please? Yes. Thank you. There we go. So uh, we're just going to dive right in and say a quick prayer. Uh, dear Lord, um, bless this room and uh, everyone in it and um, look over them and give them strength with all of their troubles or in their day-to-day -day life. Uh, amen. Just going to... Uh, okay. We're going to go ahead and take our first call. Hello, caller. Uh, you're live on the air. Oh, okay. Let's try another one here. Hello, caller. You're, you're live on the air with Richard Burnish. This is the Jesus Chapman. Yeah, hello. Hello. Yeah, why'd you say that the world was going to end like one month ago? Yeah, why'd you say that the world was going to end like one month ago? Uh, you're referring to um, if that was on C-band or not. This is our first show. Uh, was, sorry about that, everybody. We're just going to go to our next call. Hello, caller. Hello, caller. You're, you're live on the air with Richard Burnish. Uh, did you have uh, uh, a question? Uh, yeah, yes, Richard. Yes, Richard. Okay, go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, you, um, you, cur you cured my AIDS. And um, I just want to thank you for what you did to me. Okay. Um, th um, sorry, um, everybody. Um, we kind of knew that we'd be getting into a little bit of rough talk here on the channel. We may get a couple prank calls, but you know what? We're, we're, we're going to stick it out and because uh, we're, we're going to, uh, you know, you can't make an omelet without breaking the eggs, so we need to break the ice with this channel here. Hello, caller. You're live on the air with, with Richard Burnish. Did you have a question? Y yes, sir. I, uh, I actually wish to, do, to start a discussion. Y yes, sir. Okay. I, uh, I actually wish to, do, to start a discussion. I, uh, I, I, I uh, came across a film uh, called uh, Zeitgeist, and uh, in it it, 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 it really argues the point about uh, Jesus being the same as many of the many several sun deities throughout the ages. Between Mithra and Horus, they were all born on December 25th, and they all had 12 disciples, and they all uh, performed miracles, were crucified, and were reborn three days later. And I was just uh, wondering your thoughts on these, these, uh, these facts. 
Well, okay, that's a, that's a good question. Um, I'm not quite familiar with the, the film that you, that you, that you have seen, uh, but um, it sounds to me like, the, um, I, I mean, it could potentially be um, highly likely that, it, that it's a coincidence. I mean, um, if one looks close enough, you know, to, to, to certain dates over, over time, say, say today's date, for example, if we were to look at uh, what happened on today's date as far as back uh, uh, as we can through our, our history documents, um, one would probably find um, a lot of maybe a, a reoccurring um, theme, like perhaps um, like one that uh, a previous question that I, that, uh, I think Stephen wrote a paper on was um, Napoleon's death um, and, and I'm not sure the date of it uh, that you did, Stephen, but um, just how going back over time, how historical figures may have been born or, or died on, on that date. But I, I really, I mean, there is one, there is one Lord, there is one God, uh, and that is, uh, you know, that is, that is Jesus Christ. Um, so uh, I, I really don't know what to, to advise you on in terms of. Um, these repeat, you know, uh, co- coincidences. I, I just, I feel that they are just coincidences. So, hello, caller. Uh, you're live on the air with Richard Burnish. This is the uh, Jesus chat line. Hello, sir. Um, how are you today? I'm doing very well, thank you. How How are you? I'm fantastic. Great. Um, I was wondering if Jesus Christ was your excuse for never getting laid. Um, Stephen, maybe we're just going to take a, uh, just like to apologize for the language of that last call. We're just going to take a quick, um, a quick break, um, to go over our, uh, our, our call list here to make sure that we don't get any more of those, those types of calls. Um, so, uh, please hang in there. Uh, we'll be, uh, right back after, um. Uh, after these messages. Okay, and uh, we're back. Uh, thank you, Bo. Uh, thank you for, for hanging in there. Uh, we just wanted to go over the call screening a little bit so we can try and prevent some of those joke calls uh, from, from getting through. Hello, caller. You're live in the air with Richard Burnish. Uh, did you have a, a story that you'd like to share with us, or, or uh, did you have a question? Uh, yes, I just wanted to know what uh, your thoughts were on um, the Pope Honorius. Have you, have you, are you familiar with him? Uh, n- no. The, are you referring to the, he, the, the, the Pope? Uh, not the current one. Uh, he, he was a Pope during the mid-18th century, and he wrote uh, what is called uh, the Grimoire of uh, Honorius. It is uh, 
it gives details on how to summon fallen angels and demons and such. And I just wanted to know what your thoughts were on people of the church uh, decreeing such things. Oh, I've I've not I've not heard about this. Could you could you go on a little bit? Uh, explain to me a little bit more. I'm very I'm very uh, and maybe our viewers could find interest in this story. So, uh, tell us a little bit more about about this uh, about this pope. I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm not familiar with him. Uh, well, in the mid 1800s, he was uh, he was a pope for many years, and uh, before he died, he uh, he finally published his book, which was his studies about. Uh, you know, many different theories and ways you can actually draw sigils and uh, chant sacred prayers, but yet use spirits to your bidding. Right. Okay. No, I've, I've, I've not heard about uh, that, but... Um, Baba Bui, Baba Bui, Howard Stern's penis. Oh. Uh, hello, caller. You're you're live on the air with uh, Richard Burnish. Did you have a question? Uh, uh, yeah. How are you doing? Uh, I was just wondering uh, about your stance on abortion, and uh, to see if this is true, uh, could you please put your shoe on your head? Okay. Well, uh, to answer the first part of your question. Um, Uh, well, I can, uh, you know, the, the stance on abortion that we take is is that of the Bible. Um, we are pro-life uh, as as it should be. Paul, oh, it's cool here. You don't get the. Uh... Um, sorry. Uh, hello, caller. You, you're calling into the Jesus chat line. Uh, did you have a question that uh, I could help you with? <laughs> hello. Hello, caller. Yes. Uh, did you have a question? Yes, I was just wondering, um, I just recently got addicted to some heavy stuff, and I was wondering if I could find hope in Jesus Christ for my addiction. Well, I, one thing that you will find if you devote your life to, to Christianity and, and to Jesus Christ, that the strength that he can give you uh, can, can move mountains. I mean, he can help you overcome your drug addiction. He could help. He could help you overcome anything. But, but, but he can help. He can help you overcome. Anything. Okay. But, 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 but wait. But wait. Stick his fingers up my ass. But, but, but. Okay. Um, I just want to remind everybody. Um. um It's uh, going to go to the next call. Hello, caller. You're live on the air with Richard. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, sorry about that, everybody. It's uh, because it's the, uh, the internet. It's it's very difficult to to separate the real calls from the Joe calls. And, and some people are, are trying to, you know, ruin it for, for everybody. Um, but we will persevere. We are here to help. So uh, for every bad call we take, we, you know, it's, if we could help just a few people, then we're doing our part to clean, clean, up, this, clean up this place. Hello, caller. You're, you're live on the air with Richard Burnish. Hey, I just called you earlier, and you still haven't put your shoe on your head, and I'm just a little upset. Okay. Stephen, hang out. This is a, another joke. Huh? I'll get out. Um, we're just going to take a quick... Uh, we'll, we'll be right back. We need to uh, monitor these, these... We need to screen these calls a bit better. Yeah. I just remember that we're going to go through this. It's, it, this isn't the C-band. It's, uh, it might, it might even take a show or two. Oh, I understand. It's, yeah. it's, it's just, it'd be nice if there was some way that we could yeah. screen that out, you know. Yeah, I know. Well, the problem is, is that 
there's very little delay. Like, you, you, I can only, it's only about a one second delay, so it's pretty tough to to actually catch it. But I'll oh, is that thing on? Just sorry about that, everybody. Um, we're just having a little bit of difficulty with our sound, but it's all okay now. So we're just going to keep on uh, taking some calls. Hello, caller. Uh, you're live on the air with Richard Burnish on the Jesus Chat Line. Uh, did you have a question? Yeah, is this Jesus? Like. Um, yeah, Jesus. This is what? Richard Burnish. Uh, is, um, I, okay, um, it's getting a lot of feedback. Uh, just a reminder for everybody, uh, when you call in to please um, turn your radio, oh, not your radio, <laughs> turn down your, your, your computer or, or sound speakers because it creates a little bit of, of looping. Uh, so uh, if you could just be careful of that. Hello, uh, caller. You're live on the air with Richard Burnish. Um, welcome to the Jesus Chat Line. Hi. Hello. Mr. Burnish. Yes. Wow. I didn't think I'd get you online here. Yes. I'd, I'd like to ask you some questions. First of all, your, your echo is, is quite loud, which I don't want to complain too much about that. But I'd like to talk to you about gay marriage and um, mm -hmm. what you think of the current... Uh, voting that's gone on and been approved within a couple of the, the states here. Recently. The western states there. Yeah, well, um, we take a very, uh, a very strong stance against gay marriage and same-sex marriages. Uh, you know, we do believe that, um, you know, man, men should not lay with other men. And, um, you know, uh, how does that joke, Stephen, go? Um, God made, yeah, God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. <laughs> I always like that one. But um, to get serious for a minute, uh, our, our position is against same-sex marriages. Um, um, I, I, there it is. Uh, um, you know, home, I believe uh, the homosexual uh, lifestyle is, is a path to, unfortunately, is a path to hell. Because it does say that in the Bible. Hello, caller. You're live on the air with Richard Burnish on the Jesus chat line. Hello. Hi. Did you have a uh, Did you have a question uh, for me? Yes, I did. I was calling to ask what your views were on people who have who are born homosexuals but refuse to practice homosexuality. So, so you're saying like they uh, demonstrate self-control to not commit uh, any acts of, of, of gay behavior? Yes, through celibacy. Oh, yes. Well, in that case, um, I, I do believe that that is perfectly fine. Um, there, the Bible does not have any um, strong stance against um, uh, you know, uh, as long as, as there are no acts of, 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 of gay, gayness or gay, um, gay behavior, um, uh, that, that is not an issue. That's still okay. Okay. I had another question. Okay, go ahead. Um, uh, what are your views on the Mormon religion? Well, um, oh, sorry, go on. Do you think 
that because the books that were written that are contained in the Book of Mormon were probably written based on what the Mormons believe around the same time that a lot of the books of the Old Testament were written, that it is okay for those books to have been written against what a lot of people have said concerning the Book of Mormon, against or using the verse in Revelation talking about not adding to or taking away from the Bible. Mm. Well, uh, the Mormon religion is, is, is kind of a difficult... I'm, I'm, I, I, my studies are all in, 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 uh, in, in Christian subjects, so I don't know a lot about... Um, I don't know a lot about um, the Book of Mormon or the Book of Mormon. Um, I just everybody can can write a book. I feel um, if that book has a religious theme, I, I I guess what I'm trying to say is that I kind of view it just as as a piece of fiction. Okay, um, I'm not sure what that. We're going to um, thank you for the, the calls are great, and thank everybody for, for tuning in there. Um, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back with uh, a few more of your calls. Um, so thank you uh, to everybody for calling in for our first uh, ever broadcast online. Um, thank you, uh, and hang in there. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get fun. <laughs> okay. And we'll be, uh, we will be right back. Hope, love, inspiration. Let Richard Burnish show you the way. Host of Jesus Chatline and author of the Neon Bible, Richard's goal is to rid the internet of filth. Life wasn't always easy for Richard, but through the power of our Lord, he was able to overcome the temptations of evil. Let Richard show you God's road to redemption and change your life forever. Richard Burnish, he influenced my life in a lot of ways, you know, made me who I am today. The path to redemption, yes. Richard Burnish has changed my life for the positive. I like his style, it's, it's influential. For stories, inspiration, song, and your phone calls, Join us on our crusade, Richard Burnish. He is our Savior. He is the Son of God. He is the author of our salvation. He beckons, follow me. He instructs, go and do thou likewise. He pleads, keep my commandments. Hello, everybody. Um, thank you, Richard. Um, my name is Stephen Chilton. I'd like to just once again thank you for joining us. Um, I'd just like to read something very quickly here. Um, this is from Ezekiel 17:23. In the mountain of the height of Israel will I plant it, and it shall bring forth boughs and bear fruit and be a goodly cedar, and under it shall dwell all fowl of every wing. In the shadow of branches thereof shall they dwell. Okay, thank you. That was just something I had on my iPod here. And um, so I thought it was um, really appropriate to read that um, because what we're trying to do here on the Internet, um, I, I think we kind of um, represent that tree and I, I think it's going to bear fruit, and, and that's, um, that's all of you. And um, 
And I really have faith that those of you who are um, doubtful now of, of, of what we can accomplish here or, or even of your own path, um, I, I think after a few more shows here, we're going we're gonna to get, um, we're going to make a real breakthrough. Okay, so we're going to go right back to the calls now. Um, thank you for joining us. You're on the Jesus chat line. Hi. Go ahead, caller. Okay, I'm going to go on to the next one, Richard. Take the next. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're still ironing uh, uh, some of the bugs, bugs out here. We're used to, um, we're in a new facility and um, a new method of, of broadcasting. Go ahead, caller. Hello? Hi. Go ahead, caller. Hello? Good. Yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah, I was wondering, uh, I'm, I'm worried that my, there may be a demon in my house. Okay. And w- w- what leads you to believe that there is a demon? Well, you know, sometimes my dog, you know, it's really scary to start barking really loud at night. Well, that's, that sounds normal. Um, a lot of people have dogs who bark at night. Well, they also, it also um, it likes to bite me in my penis. All right. Again, we're expecting this. Uh, we're going to move on. But if I can make some use out of that call, um, I would just like to say that demons in our world are very real. Um, they can take on various forms. Some of the demons are temptations. For example, alcohol. Um, oh, yeah, just a second. Pardon me. Um, as I was saying, um, some demons are, um, are, are like temptations, like alcohol. But, you know, from time to time, there are actual uh, manifestations and, um, of demons. And, and it, it's at that point the best thing to do is um, consult your local pastor. And, um, and he will be able to um, look after your problems. Okay, we're going to move on now. Um, go ahead, caller. Um, thank you for joining us on the internet. Hello. Hi. Yeah, hi there. Um, my name's Dustin. Um, I'm actually calling from the UK. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I'm a huge fan of this show. I mean, um, I, I really, you know, I believe in what you guys are doing and stuff. But, um, I mean, I'll, I'll have a, a question if you guys don't mind. Not at all. Go ahead. Right, um, basically, um, here in the UK, um, I've been looking everywhere. I mean, I've looked in the holy burly, 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 burly. Oh, okay, this is what we're fearing um, about our Skype. Um, we were originally going to take just um, phone calls from our phone number, and uh, we decided to open it up to Skype, and what happened is um, we get crashes. So if that continues, we're going to be going back to um, phone number only, I'm afraid. Uh, if, is this a, are, are you back on the air with us? Hello, caller? Hello, caller, go ahead. Hello? I'm ter- I, I apologize, sir, our Skype crashed. Please continue. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I don't, uh, don't worry about it. It's, it's not honest. It's, it's, you know, it happens. Yeah. Right. Um, right. Just to another question. Um, I have um, like one of my grandmas who's like you know she's quite spiritual. You know she believes in like you know heaven and you know that Jesus is like you know and you know that like, everyone has like a purpose in life and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So like basically. Um, you know, because I saw that someone called earlier about, um, you know, about the demons and stuff. Mm-hmm. And basically, you know, I've kind of had the same experience. But the thing is, my, my grandma, she said basically the, the best way to keep demons away is basically if you, like, like if, you, if you say a prayer and put, like, um, peanut, peanut butter on your balls. <laughs> 
Like if you put peanut butter on your balls, I mean. <laughs> Go ahead, caller. Go ahead. We have a gentleman on the air right now. He calls himself Mr. Mr. Okay. Go ahead. Hey, hello. Hi. Go ahead. You're on the Jesus chat line with Stephen Shilton. Oh, hey, what's up? I've been trying to get on to you guys forever. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, um, yeah. It's a little easier anyway. now, now that we're on the internet instead of the C-band satellite. Oh, okay. Um, well, anyways, what I thought I was going to... Oh, I'm going to turn my speaker down and get some feedback. Okay. okay. Anyways, um, what I thought I was going to do is... Um, I'm, I'm kind of a fan of you guys' show, and I just kind of want to give you, like, a brief story of, you know, why I believe so much in what you guys believe. Okay. Is that okay with you? Yeah, go right ahead. All right. Well, like... Let's start with this. When I was a young boy, my father, he took me into the city to see this marching band. And um, he said, son, when you grow up, would you be the savior of the broken, the beaten, and the damned? And then he said, will you defeat them, your demons, and all the non-believers, the plans that they have made? Because one day, I'll leave you a phantom to lead you in the summer to join the Black Parade. And um, I don't really know what that meant at the time. But sometimes I get the feeling that he's watching over me, and there's other times that I feel like I should go. Um, but through it all, you know, the rises and the falls, and um, all the bodies I see in the streets, when you're gone, we all want you to know, we'll kill the reason. Well, it sounds like, um, sorry, there's a little bit of garbling near the end there, and I think that's just our internet connection. But it sounds like your father was a wise man, and that he looked out for you, and he, it, it sounded rather poetic. Are you still on the line? Okay, I guess he's left us. But that, that sounded very poetic. And um, we're going to move on now. We're going to go to the next call. Go ahead, caller. Okay, look. I was wondering if you could explain to me the story when Jesus was crucified, how he came back to life. Like, I was thinking, did he have, like, a soul stone or something? Or did he get, like, battle res? Can you repeat that? Can you explain to me how Jesus came back to life when he was crucified? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yet, 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 yet. Okay. Uh, yeah, it crashed again, Richard. So I think we're going to have to go to phone calls only. Um, but anyways, I will answer. Let's try it once, try it once more. We'll try it once more. Okay. We'll... If, it, if it still doesn't work, we'll, we'll go just to phone calls. Okay. Okay, because I think... I, I'm going to answer that last question through a Bible quote, if I can, a passage. And some of them, even of the sons of Simeon, 500 men went to Mount Seir, having for their captains Pelatea and Neria and Rephia and Uziel, the sons of Ishi. And I'm sure you'll all agree that that that, that adequately, adequately answers um, that last caller's um, question. Now, we have many, many more calls here, and we're going to try and, and work out our bugs here. Uh, let's try this call right here. Go ahead, caller. You are on the Jesus chat line. Hello? Yeah, go right ahead, caller. Oh, uh, what's up? Um... I was just curious if um, people like you ever question their faith. Um, no, I don't anymore. Um, I have to admit that there was a time where uh, it seemed like a lifetime ago, but um, I was a, um, well, I was in a line of work in Las Vegas. I was in the casino industry. I was a, a, a blackjack dealer. And um, at that time, I was Christian, but I was really having a tough time with what I did for a living. And, and I did find myself, with all the things that I saw in Las Vegas, questioning my faith. And it was at the time that I left Las Vegas and I met Richard. 
Um, and, and, you know, I've got to say that since then, I, I know I have not questioned my faith. I'm, I'm very confident in my faith. How, how about yourself? Um, I actually live in Vegas. but um, Oh, you do? Besi- yeah, I do. <laughs> um, but beside the point, I don't see why you would uh, find much wronging in dealing blackjack. Well, um, it's not so much the blackjack itself. It's, it's what the blackjack can lead to, you know? It can lead to a lot of um, harder gambling. Well, I mean, you said you dealt it, right? You didn't, you didn't gamble. Hardcore. No, no, but I facilitated it. And uh, where I gambled, it was, yeah, gambling can lead to drinking, for example, smoking. Um, and, and, and casinos are open on Sunday in Las Vegas, which is not good in our books or the, the book. Um, do, uh, do you work in the casino industry? No, I do not. Um, do you but, frequent um, the casinos? Do I what? Do you frequent the casinos? Oh, do I go there often? Yeah. Oh, um, I just go there for uh, recreation and stuff. Have you ever stayed at the Wynn? Um, I've gone there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you live there, so you wouldn't really need to stay in a... In a yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. And um, so was there anything else, caller, that, that you would like to uh, touch on this evening? I mean, I was just curious if, uh, you know, you ever just didn't believe. No, I, I, I'm fortunate that my faith is strong. Um, I know that things can happen in our lives that can cause us to question our faith. Um, the death of a family member, the loss of a job. And I think we just have to remember that it's those things that are going to... It's, it's your faith that's going to help you pull through. It's, it's not a time to lose faith. It's a time to, to rely on your faith to get you through these things. Does but I mean, make, is, is it really sense? faith that gets you through the day or is it yourself, you know? Well, I, th- I believe it's a combination of the two. And, um, yes. And, and, and I thank you very much for, for calling in. Um, that, that was a wonderful call. Um, I, th- I think we're making a little bit of progress here, Richard. We've been getting some wonderful calls. Um, and I want to thank you. What's, what's interesting, we're still trying to get the hang of this. Um, um, we've noticed that we are at, uh, atop the heap of, of, of the, um, I guess, what would you call it, the rankings of, of, the, of the channels. So I just want to thank you all. Yeah, so I just want to thank you all for your viewership. I think what this demonstrates is that there is a genuine interest in what we're doing here. And um, we're going to take one more call, and I'm going to pass it off to Richard. And, uh, oh, we lost that one. Okay, um, Richard, is we're going to take one more yet? Okay, let's try this one right here. Go ahead, caller. Hey, Stephen, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. Um, I, I recognize this voice from our C-band um, broadcast. How are you doing this evening? I am great. Good. Well, we'd like to thank um, you for supporting us over here on the internet. Oh, of course, buddy, man. You're my savior. Oh, thank you very much. Can you uh, look in the camera? Like, look directly at your camera. Okay. Okay. Everybody in the room, this guy has saved my life, but he's the biggest bitch in the world. I... Did the biggest, the biggest fish? Oh yeah, the biggest fish. Sorry. Um. Okay. Well, I'll just remind you, sir, that the, we're we're trying to do a uh, a serious religious show here. So um, if uh, you can behave okay, yourself, well, well, I'll allow you. To I'll carry give you on. a gay man. Pardon? About that. What did he say, Richard? I didn't, I didn't catch that. I said I'll give you an amen. Oh, oh, 
Okay. Well, thank you very much, sir. So, so what would you? What can we do for you? You have the floor. I have the floor. I have one. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. I have the floor. Is that yes. what you said? Yes. Which floor? Okay. I, I have a feeling that he's trying to be difficult with this. So we're going to move on. Um, and again, we expected that. That's. That's all part of, of, of our environment here. Uh, uh, go ahead, caller. Hello. Hi. Hello. Um, hello. Hi. I'm I'm noticing your um your your avatar here. Is that from the movie The Iron Giant? By any chance? Yeah, that's from The Iron Giant. I'm glad you noticed. Yeah, that's a very um, wholesome movie. That's a good movie for for children. Yeah, indeed. Um, may uh, I, I've been having some trouble with my faith recently. Is it all right if I talk to you about that? Absolutely. That's what we're here for. Well, during my uh, while, while I'm sleeping, I've been having these dreams. It's um, very uh, disturbing. It's like I hear this voice, and it's telling me, "My God owns you. My God owns you." It's just telling me this this powerful voice. And it's um it, it's making me feel very uh, afraid at times, and um, it's uh, I tell it to go away, but it just keeps following me. It's like a, a voice that's everywhere. When I wake up, I'm usually in sweats, and um, I, I've been starting like, to like the, to uh, to think like the pants? perhaps I'm uh, I'm possessed, perhaps. Um, no, no. Did you say it's saying my God owns you? It's no. It's a specific word. It's one word. It's my God. Oh, um, poems. It's it's as if it's trying to make fun of God. Um, you see. Oh, oh, I see. Well, sir, um, you know, I I think you might need some um, some help from from a priest, perhaps, or a deacon, even. Um, a priest? Yeah. Like, do you belong to a church? Um, I do. I belong to the Church of Mormon. Okay. Well, why don't you... Um, and, uh, are you still there? I am. Okay. Um, now the, uh, the thing that, um, I'm most curious about is perhaps, uh, there is something residing within my home. You see, it's... I've I've always noticed strange things going on, and they happen around the same time as these dreams. Mm-hmm. I'll have the dreams, and then these things start happening. It's as if uh, maybe I'll f- sometimes it's simple. I'll find something in a different area than where I placed it. Other times, I, I remember one time a-, a door slammed behind me, and I I thought I heard the voice. I thought I heard it. I'm not sure if I was legitimately hearing something saying, "My God owns you." But it felt as if I was saying it, mm-hmm. and I, I felt my, almost I, frozen, as if something was blocking me. I felt I, a, I was trying to move move oh. away through the door, and mm-hmm. it felt like somebody was there blocking me. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I might need uh, some help. Perhaps it's uh, something supernatural. Yes. I think what you're going to need to do, sir, is consult um, a priest. And, um, and, ha- and perhaps have the priest come over and, um, and, and, and maybe you can deal with this, with this issue that way. I don't know if there's really a whole lot we can do over the, over the internet um, for you, but it does sound serious. I see. Um, if I may just uh, ask you one more question. Mm-hmm. Um, have you ever... Uh... When is the last time you masturbated? <laughs> what? Hello? Go ahead, caller. Hello? Hello? Uh, you're on the air. Cool. Um, yeah, I got a question about a certain type of religion. Okay. 
Um, yeah, I got a question about... Okay, I think you might need to turn the sound down from the broadcast caller. Can you hear me? I, I can absolutely hear you. Go ahead. Okay, we're going to move on. Uh, this might be a good time for me to mention um, our accelerated Bible reading program. Now, if you surf the Internet, there's a lot of programs out there where they break the Bible down into 52 components so that over the course of a year, um, if you read um, so much per week, you will read the whole Bible in a year. Well, we feel that, that um, that's good. I mean, that's good. But um, we have an accelerated 14-week program. And we're just putting that together right now. Um, by the time we do our next broadcast, uh, we'll give you more details on that. Um, for now, I'm going to turn you over to Richard soon, but we're going to take a couple more calls first. Okay. We're going to go to... Uh, boy, the, the phone lines are really laying up. We're going to go to, uh, we're gonna go to Carl. Go ahead, Carl. Go ahead, caller. How you doing, Stephen? I'm doing well. Thank you for joining us this evening. Well, my name is uh, my name is Mike, mm -hmm. and I watch you on C-SPAN a lot. Okay. Um, yeah, but I just have I've been having some problems, and uh, I need to be cleansed. Okay, what is the problem? Uh, I've been seeing things while I'm laying down at at night, I've been seeing figures walking by my bed, and I need to be cleansed. Okay. Is there anything you could do for me that will help me? Can you, can you describe these figures? They're like black shadows with white eyes and big teeth. And, oh, God, I don't know. It's just scary thinking about it. Oh, you know, it's... I, it might, I think it's Slender Man. I'm not sure. Well, the, the, the thing is, is that we're hearing more and more about this. Um, thanks, Richard. Yeah, we're hearing more and more about these things. They're more and more common. So what I would ask you to do is I would ask you to, um, to pray with me um, and to anyone else who's out there who's suffering from this. We've had a few calls now um, along this theme on, C, on our C-band satellite as well. So... We ask you to join us now. Um, okay. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spoke of stoning him, because all the people were bitter in soul, each for his sons and daughters. But David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. Okay. Amen. All right. Amen. And uh, here's one that's even more appropriate. But the Lord stood by me and strengthened me, so that through me the message might be fully proclaimed, and all the Gentiles might hear it. So I was rescued from the lion's mouth. There we go. Um, I Amen. Just... I did, oh, oh God. Uh, uh, I'm seeing another f figure. Hold on, hold on. What the fuck? I, it's a nigger. My TV down. Okay, we apologize for that. Uh, we're just going to move on. I'm going to pass the mic over to Bur uh, Richard Burnish. <sighs> okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm... Uh, my name is Richard Burnish. For those of you just, just tuning in, um, my name is Richard. Um, I'm um, also uh, a co-pastor, or co-pilot, <laughs> co-pastor. It's a bit of a joke um, that we like to say. Um, but anyways, uh, thank you uh, for everybody for just tuning in. Um, 
this is the Jesus chat line. Uh, we are a call-in nonprofit show um, dedicated to helping uh, and caring uh, for those in need. Um, this is our first, our, our, our maiden voyage, if you will, um, on the internet. Uh, we've done a lot of shows and a lot of work on uh, on uh, on C-band, but this is our first online show. So thank you everybody for tuning in um, to this to our premiere episode. So I'm just going to not waste any more time, and I'm going to go uh, right to the calls. Okay. Uh, hello, caller. Uh, I see your name here is uh, Jeffrey. Hello, Jeffrey. Uh, you're live on the air with Richard Burnish. Hi, Richard. <clears throat> um, I'm in a little bit of crisis right now, and I could really use some help. Okay. Um, Go ahead. <clears throat> uh, oh, I've lost of words. Um, my wife is a recovering slash reformed homosexual. Um, mm -hmm. I've been very proud of the efforts that she's put in for this, uh, but my, my fears is that, that it's worked too well. Um, I, I came home from work last night and, and found my wife in bed with s several men and the debauchery. I, I, I really don't know what to do. Can, can you offer any words of advice? Well, yes, I can. I, first off, I, I'd like to apologize. Uh, that, that must have been very hard, uh, a hard thing for you to, to, to experience. Uh, the fidelity of, of, of marriage is not something to be taken lightly. Um, so I, I, I do realize that this must have hurt your feelings very deeply. Yes. And you know what? Uh, I, 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 I applaud you for calling into the show and reaching out for, for strength because when, when something uh, like this that, that can affect our hearts and our souls uh, so tremendously, um, sometimes you need someone to lean on. So uh, thank you for, 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 for choosing, choosing me. Um, but it, it, I, I, I'm just going to read to you a... Uh, a short prayer from, uh, or I'm sorry, prayer passage from Corinthians ten thirteen. Are, are you familiar with it? Uh, of course, I'm a. Okay. I, I love well, the Bible. Well, it's about temptation, so um, uh, no temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and He will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape that you may, <clears throat> so that you may be able to endure it. So that would be my advice to you, to, to, to seek your strength in the Lord to escape this situation of yours. Uh, you mentioned she was a, a recovering homo homosexual, so... <sighs> She sounds, and, and it, please don't take offense to this, but she sounds as though she may be a bit of a lost, a lost cause. No, no, don't, don't say that. I know. Um, well, uh, this is just my advice, um, but it sounds like there are some severe problems in, in your marriage. Um, uh, a union of marriage is, 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 is something to be taken very, very seriously. It's, 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 a, it's a pact with God. So uh, ask yourself this. Do you really want to associate with, with a, uh, a woman that would, that would turn her back on the Lord? No, no. God comes number one. Oh, that, that is music to my ears. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. So my advice to you, uh, Jeffrey. <laughs> <I'm crying. laughs> 
I'm just, I don't want to lose my wife, but I understand. I understand. He's crying, Richard. <laughs> Man's crying. I, I, I apologize, I'm burying my soul on the internet. It's okay. It's okay. We're we're off the air now. It's okay. It's just you and me. <coughs> Jeffrey, are you there? I'm I'm hurt. Jeffrey, I've um, it, I've I've turned off the channel. It's it's just you and I. Um, I'm very sorry to be the one giving you this news, but I do think it's time for you to move on. God needs to come first. It's the Christian way. But she's my wife. I, we've shared so much. Jeffrey, I do believe that she's turned her back on you. And many other things. Yeah. Yeah. Well, before I go back online, I'm just going to read you one last, one last quote. Thank you. And this, and this is from uh, Isaiah... Uh, 410 and it says fear not for I am with you be not dismayed for I am your God I will strengthen you I will help you and I will uphold you with my thank righteousness you. of my right hand thank you your God, words inspire me God bless you Jeffrey and, and uh I wish you much luck. Thank you for calling in. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. Okay. Um, Stephen, are we going to be... Do you want to go live again? I think... Well, it's getting kind of late. I think perhaps we should shut it down. We, we could. We could shut it down. Well, it's, it's already... No, we'll come back. Let's come back for a little bit more. Okay. Did you want a soda? Um, yes. There's the orange, some kind of orange soda. Yeah. yeah. There was some kind of orange one. Yeah. I'll have that. Sound. Oh, there. <clears throat> uh, hello. Okay. Uh, sorry about that, everybody. Um, we just wanted, uh, had to take a little break there um, and uh, give some privacy to that last caller. So sorry for the, the black loading screen there. We'll, um, but we're just going to keep going. Okay. Hello, caller. You're live on the air with Richard Burnish on the Jesus Channel. <laughs> Okay. Um, all right. Uh, hello, caller. You're, you're live on the air with Richard Burnish. Oh, hello. Bless your soul. Oh, I thank you. Bless you. Bless you also. Uh, did you have a, a question or a story that I can help you with? Yes. G G Jesus came and he saw me yesterday. Hello? Yes. There's a bit. There's a bit of a delay on this phone call. Yeah, we, we do that to try and keep some of the, the the inappropriate calls from from getting on the air. So there's a bit of a delay. Oh, okay. Well. So I, I apologize I, for that. But if you could try and, and, and continue. Um. Don't you worry about it, boy. Don't you worry about it. So, yesterday, this man came and he visited me in my dreams. Hello. Yes. Everything, can you hear me all right, boy? So, who, did you know who this man visiting you was? He had a dark, a very dark cloak. Okay. 
he came at uh, two in the two in the morning. It's quite late. Yes, and he he, he touched me in my Nono area. I don't I'm know what to do. I don't know who to contact or reach out to. Oh God, Jesus, help me! I don't know who to contact. I don't know how to handle this. I've never done this before. Well, uh, no. yeah. what what exactly? Uh, so when this figure, uh, he's he's all in black. He he came out. He he came. He goes come up to me and he goes, Yo, Blackie, what you doing? And I was like. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing. Just go away. Go away, you dark figure. Go away. And he, came, he comes up to me, and he, he touched me in the weirdest places. I don't know why he done it. I don't know why he done it. Oh, Lord. I don't know why. Dude, can you explain to me why this man gone done this to me? Well, we do get a fair, on, on our old channel, we, we, we've heard we're common with these, uh, these dark figures that that, that visit um, either in your dreams or, or, or in, in your uh, in your sleep. Um, oh Lord, he came up to me yesterday and he 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 said, "Woman, well, I'm gonna hang you with a noose." I said, "No, you isn't. You ain't gonna hang. You ain't gonna hang Grace Cave with no noose." I said, "I'm a strong, God-fearing woman." And, and then he well, touched me. I didn't know what to do. I'd like to read you a, uh, a, a, a little bit from Psalm uh, 27 1. Uh, it sounds to me like you need some light in, this, in, the, in these dark dreams. Excuse me. So, the, dark, the dark figure did say one, one thing. He said his name was uh, my, my God Ricky. My God Ricky. Is that, is that in the Bible? I haven't seen it in any entries. I've never seen it before. No, I, I, I don't know. Rap. I don't know that one, but next time that he talks to you, simply look at him and, and say, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, of whom I shall be afraid. You tell him that, and I guarantee you, uh, Blackie, that he it, won't well, bother you again. Did you, what did you just say, boy? Did you... Did your nigga ass just call me Blackie? What you, what you call? Um. Uh, I just want to really embarrass. Uh, I just want to apologize to that last caller. I I uh, I thought I thought that your name. Was Blackie. I, I was not making any any kind of racial comment. So uh, it's a, just a coincidence, a uh, uh, misunderstanding. I thought that your name was Blackie. So uh, I'm sorry that that came out that way. Can I just say one thing, Richard? Yes. I would just like to um, ask all the people in the chat if they could please stop the swearing or they will pay the price. Yes, please, please do not use foul language in this. This is a family uh, channel. Um, you know what, uh, Stephen? Let's let's take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back to answer a few more of your calls. Uh, right after, right after these uh, quick messages. Hope, love, inspiration. Let Richard Burnish show you the way. Host of Jesus Chatline and author of the Neon Bible, Richard's goal is to rid the internet of filth. Life wasn't always easy for Richard, but through the power of our Lord, he was able to overcome the temptations of evil. Let Richard show you God's road to redemption and change your life forever. Richard Burnish, he influenced my life in a lot of ways, you know. Made me who I am today. The path to redemption, yes. Richard Burnish has changed my life for the positive. I like his style. It's, it's influential. For stories, inspiration, song, and your phone calls, join us on our crusade. Richard Burnish.
Hello, everybody, and, and welcome back. Uh, we just took a quick break there, and uh, we're just going to jump right in with uh, more of your phone calls. Hello, caller. You're live on the air with Richard Burnish on the Jesus chat line. Hi, um, I'm actually an atheist, and I was just wondering if I could have a quick civil discussion with you. Um, well, maybe we can make uh, some time for you. Sure, go ahead. Well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm an atheist. I'm, I'm definitely going to be that way for the rest of my life, and I was just curious as to what you thought okay, about Okay, well, then I don't see the point of that call, then. Hello, caller. You're live on the air with Richard Burnish. Hi, are you there? Yes, uh, I am here. Hi. Um, first of all, I'd like to say I'm sorry for all the people that have been uh, calling and with all these, you know, prank calls and everything. It's really unfortunate. Yeah. You know what, though? We expected, we came to where we were needed most, and there's a lot of filthy things on the Internet. There's a lot of impure things on the Internet. So we did expect a little bit of, of rough talk. But, but thank you for, for, for your, your words of strength. We do appreciate that. Uh, I'm glad to hear it. Um, anyway, I just wanted to uh, call to get some advice. Um, my son, he's in junior high school, and he wants to uh, go see this new Harry Potter movie with um, all his friends. And I know it deals with you know witchcraft and devilry and that sort of thing, but I don't yes. know how to tell him, you know. Tell him, tell him no. Is it what you said? Yeah, I, I don't want. I don't know how to, um, you know, explain to him that he can't see the movie. You know, all of his friends see it because their parents are so, you know, secular and they don't care. But um, I, 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 you know, I don't want him to see it because of you know how it's based. Well, I, I don't think it's Christian. I, 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 you know what? I perhaps this film would be a film that 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 you may. Uh, Ask him to maybe watch instead of, of that Harry Potter film. And maybe after watching this, see if he still wants to watch that. You know, I think maybe showing him um, the passion of the Christ as, as an example, uh, I don't think that he, he, he will want to, you know... Uh, watch a movie like Harry Potter and, and, and with, with all of the witchery in it uh, after seeing something like that. Oh, that's, that's a pretty, I've seen that movie, and it's, uh, it's pretty violent. I mean, my son, he's only in junior high school. I'm not sure if, uh, if that's really, but I see your point, though. Um, I, I think the general lesson is definitely... There's, yeah. Cause, but, um, because here's the thing about, about that, is that, that, about the passion of the Christ, unlike Harry Potter... Um, this one really happened. Yeah, I, I understand. Um, it, you know, it's just it's just really hard. Um, the last time I let my son go and watch, you know, he's seen all the other Harry Potter movies, and um, you know, right at right after the night, you know, he saw the last one. I walked into his room, and he was just, you know, masturbating badly. <laughs> it was. It Okay, well, um, I'm gonna take the, uh, sorry, sorry about that, everybody. Hello, caller. Hello? You're live on the air with Richard Burnish. Hello, are you there? Yes, I, I'm here, caller. Go, go ahead. Hi, I'm a big fan of what you're doing here. You know, Thank you. I've accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior, body, mind, and soul. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to ask you a question about your faith. Okay. So, if Jesus appeared to you one day, and let's say this is the real Jesus, not like some sort of illusion or some sort of uh, trick by a devil, and he appeared to you, and he asked you just to kneel before him and suck his dick... Would you do it? Okay. <laughs> this guy called me. Like, okay, um, Stephen, hang up on this one. Hello, caller. You're you're live on the air. Hello. Hi. Uh, did you have a question uh, uh, that I could help you with? Yes, uh, hello. Um, 
My name is uh, um, Adam. I, I'd like to uh, just ask you a, a few questions um, okay. a, about your faith. Um, have you uh, ha- have you had any um, sexual urges when you were when when you were younger before you became a pastor? And uh, do you think that would um, inhibit your your uh, chances of getting into heaven? Well, any uh, any act of, of, of sexual uh, nature before marriage would yes, it would very much affect that. Yes, I see. Um, so uh, I, I, I just I, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Um, just one more question. Uh, what is your opinion on Leviticus twenty thirteen? Uh, can you can you expand on it, please? Um. I just like to know what you think about the verse. Uh, let me look it up so I can give you the exact quote. Yes, please. It sounds like uh, it sounds like a Logitech keyboard. Um, no, it's Lenovo. Oh, okay. Um, what is your preference of Bible so I can get you the correct one? Uh, the King James Bible, please. Okay. Just one second. Uh, here certainly, we go. Certainly. Okay. Um, if a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman... Both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Well, uh, I, uh, I have a very strong stance against same-sex marriage and, and acts of, of homosexual nature. So um, that, 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 sounds utter, uh, that sounds right to me. Um, then, uh, what is your opinion on, um, let me find this quote as well, because I I feel that there is somewhat of a, uh, like they conflict with each other and, um, it is, uh, I I just like to hear your, your opinion on the comparison. You, you you cannot get into heaven being a homosexual. That, that is. Oh, um, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to, uh say that homosexuals will get into heaven uh, because that's not what I'd uh, um, not what I'd like to uh, okay. ask you about um, let me find the quote right here I know it is somewhere in Luke where um, this is actually going to take um a little too long for the call, but essentially what is uh, going on is Jesus is describing the end times, and uh, he sa- he says, uh, um, a man shall be lying in bed with another man, a woman in the field with another woman, and a, uh, a man in the field with another man, uh, they, and uh, then they will uh, be raptured up into heaven. Now, my uh, my question is: Why are two men in um, in one bed? Well, um, in that particular context, um, I think that is uh, is not necessarily. Um, you may be reading into it a little bit too much, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I think in that situation, what what, what is meant is friendship. Uh, men can be friends with other men, and some some of some of the the world's uh, best friends are are male and male and male friends, or male and female friends, or female and female uh, friends. So, um, what you need to understand is, is that particular uh, quote pertains to friendship and not um, and not sexual um, orientation. Um, the other the other quote was about actually having sex with another man and. You know, he shall be put to death. That is that is correct. But when he's saying it's okay, he's saying that it's it's okay for friendship. So, um, to answer that question, 
Uh, going ahead to the next caller. Hello, caller. You're live on the air with Richard Burnish. Hello. Hi. You're live. Hi. Uh, my name is Basil. Okay. And um, I just noticed your last call about um, uh, homosexuality, and you said that homosexuals deserve to be killed. Is that what you really are trying to imply? Well, uh, that's what the Bible uh, is really implies. Um, actually, I was referring to to the Bible. Yeah, but uh, I mean, if like, how would you like it if I, you know, that's like saying, you know, people are born gay and people don't choose to be gay, and how, if, you know, it's like. I, I, I really feel like calling the cyber police on you right now because basically what you did was send me a death threat for being homo because I'm homo and I take a lot of offense in what you said. Well, um, I, I, I'm sorry for, for any offense that I've caused you. I do not, um, I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm just trying to spread the word uh, of, of Jesus Christ um, in, in his teachings. And that, uh, if you look in the Bible, it is in the Bible. So... Um, it is a, it is a fact. Yeah, I, I'm not I'm not making uh, I'm not making this up. Um, th- 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 this is these are truths that I'm speaking. So, what? <clears throat> okay, homosexuals are they born the way they are, or do they choose to be homos? I mean, because from what I know is I did not choose to be this way. You know, it just happened to me, and I, I take a lot of offense in what you said. Well, uh, here, here's the good news. Um, if I, if I, if I, if I provided you with with some sort of of, of, of revelation, revelation to you to to understand that you still have time to perhaps turn your life around to get into heaven, would you not want to take it? No, I don't want to go to heaven. I want to go to hell and burn forever. Well, then uh, that sounds. Like the tr- uh, like uh, like, it sounds like you're on that path. So, I wish you much luck. You know what? We're gonna take a quick break, um, and we'll be right back. They get through, and it really, it really makes our show look bad. Yeah, I saw. What was it that we had in the at the seat uh, seat pens? Do do it. I believe I don't know. I will have to. We'll have to call Jim. To, we'll have to call Jim, maybe. Yeah. Do you think that calling the police is an option? Well, I don't know. I, I'm not like I've not. It seems to me like if if people are going to call in and try and ruin the. Like, yeah. It's almost like a disturbing the peace kind of thing. Yeah, it's one thing for somebody to call and not believe in what we're saying, but it seems like people are calling to try and disturb it for others. Well, that's that's the problem that I have. Yeah. Is that it's not if they can click to another channel. Yeah. They can go watch other show other channels. They can watch other but channels. But because they're doing well, maybe we'll say that. Maybe we'll just tell them that, you know. And I've I also wonder if we should tell them that if they continue with it, they're gonna pay the price. Well, let's just come back. I'll take a couple more calls. Okay. And and I'll you know I'll say that we'll call the police. I'll just tell them. Well, what else? I think that could work. And then I'll take a couple more and I'll pass it. We'll go to a quick commercial break. And then we'll give you a few more calls. Okay. And then I think we, it's getting late. We need it. We need to okay. probably shut it down. Okay. Well, all you need to do is hit this button here and then turn the volume back up, and then you're good to okay. go. How do I turn the mic on? It's this knob here.
on now? Is it on now? Okay. The mic's on. Okay. Hello, uh, and welcome back. Thank you. Um, we're going to come back and we're going to take a couple more of your calls. Um, we just want to let everybody know that um, all of these joke calls that are, are, are going to call in, that have been calling in, we are writing, we're writing down all of the numbers and we will call the police. So if anybody wants to, to call, if anybody wants to call in and, and try and ruin it for the rest of us, just to let everybody know, we will be contacting police because it is illegal to disturb our, sh like, you can't call in like that. You can't, you can't do that. So we think, our uh, Skype just crashed again. So um, while I'm restarting the Skype up, just to let everybody know, all of those out there trying to ruin it for everyone, that we will be contacting the police. Okay. Hello, caller. You're, you're live on the air with Richard Burnish. Oh, hi. Hello. Are, are you there? there? There's kind of a delay on my computer, so I can't really tell Yeah, no, we're trying to uh, cut out some of the swears, so yeah, we're here. All right, I got you. All right, um, well, first I would just like to say that I'm very disappointed with the people calling in those prank calls. That's very wrong. And I would just like to say to our um, new anonymous people that um, you just really need to stop. As Gandhi himself once said, you need to, a newborn child needs to watch and listen and lurk amongst his peers before he can learn. Amen. And, um, yeah, I'm just very disappointed. But um, I'm actually a, um, I volunteer at my local church and uh, I've been studying up on the Bible. And um, the pastor has actually been letting me uh, do confessionals for the past few days. And um, I just wanted to ask advice about this, uh, about one that happened. Okay. It was this um, this 30-year-old woman um, came up to our confessional, and I was in it, and um, she was explaining to me about some of the sins she's committed. And uh, the sin itself was that uh, this woman had gone to a bar, she had gotten very drunk, and she had uh, committed... A or she had committed sexual acts with a man. And um, and I said that, and I tried to cons I tried to console her. She was very broken up about it. But um, I didn't really know what to do. But all of a sudden, she got up from her seat in the confessional and turned around and went past the little screen onto my side. And um, she started looking into my eyes and proceeded to um, start to remove her clothes. And then, as I just, I could I could just sit there. I mean, I couldn't really do anything. I was petrified. And as she looked deeply into my eyes, she bit her lip. And to my surprise, she did the mash. She did the monster mash. And all... Hello, call your, your live on the air with Richard Bernard. The monster mash. <laughs> you know what? Okay. We we will be contacting the police with every number that calls in like that. So, hello, caller. You're live on the air. Hi, Dick. It's it's actually my, it's Richard actually, but go oh, on. Oh, sorry. Yeah, usually I call my friend's name Richard Dick, so... Anyway, I'm sorry. Okay. You know what? Stephen, can you take this for a moment? Yeah, I'll... Okay, we're going to just ask everybody out there to ignore the jokes. I've been working on a little something while I've been off, off camera here. I just, I'll show you what I have here. 
And, and basically, here it goes like this. Yeah, that's as far as I've got with it, but... It's a, yeah, that's a, yeah, it's something on my iPod. All right, we're going to move, we're going to move on. We have a lot of calls, calls to get through, and we're going to get through them all. We're going to give everybody a chance, so just be patient. And just, I ask, um, I ask that you just, uh, Let's try and be civil throughout the evening here as we take more calls, you know, with, uh, with this. I know, I know it's in the internet and we're asking for it, um, but, you know, uh, please bear with us. And, and, and uh, Richard's worked very hard to, to set up our new studio. Go ahead. Caller. Go ahead, you're live on the air with Richard Stephen Chilton. Hello? Hi, caller, go ahead. Can you hear me? I can. Okay, um, hi, my name is Jessica Owens. Mm -hmm. Oh, just stick to, your, stick to your first name, please, Jessica. Well, let me mute you. I have this problem... I just, I'm just so, I'm overtaken by lust every day of my life. There's like not five minutes. I can't go. It's just so hard. I just need Jesus to like help me. I don't, I go to churches and I don't, I'm, it's just so hard. Have you tried perhaps like a, an accelerated Bible reading program? I used, my, I used to go to church all the time. It had been in a while. I used to go with my grandma, but she died a few years ago, and I've just been so lost without her. Okay, well, you know that your grandma is still with you, you know, in a sense. It's just, there's some things I wish she wasn't watching. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I've just done so, so much. Well, I think the fact that you've chosen to call into the show and that you're troubled by this is a, is a start. It, it means that you want to change, and it means that you want to do the right thing. So, and I hope you understand that. Also, I have one more question. Okay. Do you know how magnets work? Um, and what, what does that have to do with anything? I don't know. I, it's just another confusing question in my life. I swear, yeah. if I get this answered... It, Oh, and, uh, suck my dick! Where's the hang-up button? Let's go to, let's go to, let's go to... <laughs> Jeez, that, it's... Yeah. yeah, all right. Okay, well, we're going to keep going. We, we expected this, okay? Um, when Richard and I sat down, we said this was not going to be the C-band satellite, where we have that, that audience in our corner. But we thought, in order to really cause change, we needed to go to ground zero to do it. And, and that's why we're here, and that's why we're not going to stop. We're just going to keep going. And judging by the amount of people who have joined us tonight, obviously there is an interest in this. And some people are going to start out by ridiculing and joking. But you know what? Eventually those people are going to come around. We have, we have many members of our church who used to scoff, scoff at religion. And one day, it's like a light switch just goes on. So we have great patience. And we're here for the long haul. And just, just think that you can say you were here on the very first broadcast. You were here from the beginning. And I would just like to add, and, 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 and where can it go from here? You know, think about that. What, what, what can this be? This, this can grow to be a beautiful, 
a, 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 a beautiful, beautiful thing. And you were there from the beginning. So just, just you're a part of that. Yes. Go ahead. You're on the Jesus chat line with Stephen Chilton. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm calling all the way from London. Um, well, Hi, thank Stephen. You for, thank you for joining Hi. us. Hi. Hi. Sorry, I've just got to turn down the sound from the actual broadcast. No there we problem. go. No problem. Um, I mean, the, the reason why I'm phoning, um, I mean, I... I it's, well, I, I know I'm going to get ridiculed by this, but... Um, I mean, I, I support your faith and so on. You know, and what you guys are doing are really, really good. I mean, it's a shame for everyone to phone up and spoil it all for everyone else. But... Um, I mean, you can't expect everyone to take the religion seriously when you've got gay videos of Richard coming up in between breaks, you know? So, I mean, <laughs> it is really embarrassing to watch. I mean, they made him look like Jesus. Uh, yeah, are you referring to, the, to where you see Richard walking and his, his hair is flowing and, and he enters the circle of light? Yeah, I mean, it is really lame. You know... Uh, uh, the minute I saw that, you know, I, the minute I heard about your broadcast, I thought, okay, you know, fair enough, that would be great, you know, let's, let's see what's going to happen. But, I mean, when the video comes up and it's, you know, Richard and this, it, I think he tries so hard to be like Jesus. Well, I Rich think he wants to be Jesus, or at least he thinks he's Jesus. I can see how um, the commercials can, can leave that impression. Um, I know, I think what those are supposed to demonstrate is, like, let's be honest, we can't get Jesus to be in the commercials. So we kind of have to go with the next best thing we have available So what's to that? Us. Is that Richard with a goat on his back? Well, no, that, that's an actor. Um, that's a paid actor. Um, but we want to portray something real as well. So we have Richard um, walking with his hair flowing and... And, and it's showing the power of Jesus going through Richard and how it can go through you, too. Fair enough. You know, I've I got nothing against that. But honestly, the video just seems really, really, really gay. Mm, yeah. Well, it's, it, I can tell you that it's not the intent because we don't believe in, in gay. <clears throat> I mean, honestly, I, I'm, I'm being serious. I'm not like everyone else who's phoning up and trolling and so yeah. on. You know, I've got yeah. nothing against you guys at all. I just think the videos that you put on are just really, really, really queer. Well, okay. I just, that's a, thank you for your call. That's, that's kind of like a bad, um, um, a bad choice of, of wording, but, oh, we have a caller. Good Christian is the name. Go ahead, caller. Uh, hello? Hi. Hello? Hi, yes, I just, uh, I saw your name, um, Good Christian, and I thought... Hello, I just, yes? Yeah, go ahead, caller. Um, well, <laughs> oh yes, Th thank you, um, I'm really torn up, and my friend recommended this, um, it's really, hello? Yeah, I'm here, caller, go ahead. I hear, uh, there's a, I hear my, I'm talking over myself, I, I'm a wreck right now, how do I stop it? Well, what seems to be the problem? Tell us more. Okay, well, I live on a farm. I live on a farm, and my father raised me Christian. Well, we breed horses, and... Okay, I think... I don't think that... Are you still there, caller? Hello? Yeah, go ahead. You breed, you breed horses, yeah? Yes. Um, I woke up to feed them. Yes. There's a, there's a really big delay. Okay. Well, I think that your, your tr problem that you're having, like... Yeah, 
I think what you need is um, perhaps to um, get a faster internet connection, like perhaps AOL or something like that. Um, but I think that your problem can be, ha- um, can be solved the way um, most can, and that's go get a Bible, open it, read it, put yourself on an accelerated program. You know, even on, um, on iPods these days, they have them. Um, you can get the, get the Bible and, and just read it. Go ahead, caller. Hey, why did you hang up on me earlier? Uh, we, we don't believe in hanging up on anybody, sir. Unless they're being absolutely unreasonable, like swearing or something like that. Oh, so no, no the word puff or anything? No laughs. Okay, we're going to move on. Again, we, we expected this, but we're just going to plow through it. Go uh, ahead. Uh, no, no, the word pass or anything. Okay, we ask you to turn your sound down. And um, so as I mentioned, we do have an accelerated Bible program. It's, it's seven weeks. And um, just bear with me. We're just having a little, a little bit of difficulty here. But again, thank you for joining us for our first ever, ever broadcast. Um, yeah, of course, this isn't our first, first broadcast. We've been on um, C-band satellite and free to air as well. Um, okay, we're going we're gonna to move on to a couple more calls. Go ahead, caller. Excuse, excuse me, you crack ass nigga. Why you call my grandmother? Why you call her Blackie? I gotta hear that you crack ass nigga with a little white, white boy head. I'm having trouble hearing the. Yo, you heard me, boy. Get at me. I'm South Corner. Blah, blah. Crack ass nigga up in Canada. Okay. Where you from? I, I, we can't talk. Yeah. Okay. Well, gonna... I just remind everybody that we're pretty tolerant here and we will allow you to speak your mind but we cannot allow obscenities we just we can't and we won't and we'll, we'll move on next caller and we won't my little pony my little pony we're gonna go now to to Randy oh. He was playing a My Little Pony song. <laughs> Did you hear that? Are you speaking to me, sir? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead. Um, okay. Um, suck a fart out of your mom's ass and hold it in like a phone No temptation has seized you except what is common to man. And God is faithful and will not let you be tempted. It's common to man. And God but is faithful. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can stand up over, under it. But remember that the temptation that came into your life are no different from what others experience. And God is faithful. <clears throat> he will keep the temptation from becoming so strong that you can't stand up against it. When you are tempted, He will show you a way out so that you will not give in to it. You know the temptations that I am facing today. (laughs) 
You know the you temptations, temptations that I am facing today. today. You are tearing me apart, you Lisa! You know the temptations that I am facing today. You are tearing... Go ahead, caller. Hello? Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, yeah. How are you doing? Uh, uh well, we're, we're hanging in there. It's a little bit tough, but we're, we're doing our best. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I noticed the, uh, I noticed the delay. Yeah, did you have a question or a comment? But, uh... There's this website my friend showed me called uh, Truth, uh, Truth Saves, and it shows the proofs of how the Bible lies to us. And I don't want to believe it, but the proof is actually seems pretty strong. And I'm having a hard time trying to think, how can I, you know... I see no lies in the Bible. Where are they? But in the website, it shows strong facts. Like in the Bible, God says that in one of the verses, he was going to destroy Egypt and that the rivers were going to dry up. But it shows that the Nile River is one of the strongest rivers in the universe. Well, sometimes the Bible doesn't speak literally. but it, um, And I think perhaps you might be taking that literally or this website might be taking it literally. Uh, you are you are invited to respond. Yeah, but uh, I was just having trouble because my friends had been. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm just trying to listen, but uh, my friends are always you know pushing me on about this, and I don't want to believe them, but they are always proving me straight facts, and they're bashing on my religion. And I'm trying my best not to uh, you know stay true to my religion. Well, the facts are in the Bible. Those are the only facts I'm aware of. And they're facts that ring true with me and with most of our listeners here tonight. Yeah, yeah I, I heard a little, yeah. Okay, well, we'll move on. Uh, I thought I heard some laughter. Okay, yeah. Well, we'd like to thank everybody. <clears throat> We'd like to thank everybody for joining us. Hello, welcome to the program. Everyone knows Jesus, the man who healed the lame. But I am Jesus' brother, Craig is my name. The next voice you hear will be that of Richard Burnish. Um, we're going to be right back. Use the microphone. I think that it, it's much different than the C band. It's 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 tough. I think what's happening here is this is all new to people on the internet. And there's a lot of lost people here on this Justin TV. Well, I think we've come to the right place. I think we just Maybe. have to go. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no. I, I, th I was going to say uh, it's a lot different than the C band. But you know what? I think that there are more people that need us here. I think you're right. And I, I think that your, um, your idea to put us on that. Um, he headspace? No, Facebook. I thought that was a good idea because there was, I think, 32 people on my page the other day. And 
I think that that's the w that's the way they um, they do it these days. Like they go on the um, they go on the computer from school. Yeah. Um, which is the uh, mute button? Just that's that. On the Jesus chat, oh, um, and you're on the Jesus chat line. Just want to thank everybody for uh, for for hanging in there, uh, for tuning in to our first ever broadcast. Um, I'm sorry about earlier. I, I got a little bit upset with some of the joke prank calls that we've been getting, but I'm going to persevere. You know. Uh, off camera, I had a little talk with Stephen uh, about about uh, some of the differences uh, between our, our, our old channel on on uh, C band and and this. It is slightly different, and we're we're learning and we're we're getting uh, accustomed to the to the nuances of of the whole thing. But you know, um, and this this is a good example, like. That that that. What would Jesus do, right? Would 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 Jesus just give up uh, in the face of difficulty? You know, uh, to apply that today to today's world, you know, it's like fighting your way out of a grapple in MMA. You don't just give up, or that is it uh, ultimate fighting, right? Yeah, or a shoot wrestling. Yeah. Or any wrestling, you 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 fight your. Jesus would fight his way out, just like in MMA. Shoot fighting. So we're just gonna take a few calls here. Hello, caller. You're live on the air with Richard Bain. Hello. Hi. Wait, am I on right now? Yes, you're you're live on the air. Uh, did you have a question? <clears throat> Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to talk to you because, um, yes, I have a serious question. Um, my friend, uh, we we both grew up Christian. He's been my best friend for the longest time, and um, um, <laughs> and he's he's a big retro gamer, and he's been playing this one game for a really long like a month or so and he's really changed on me and I think it I, I think the game might be and I think the game might be possessing him like he's he, he's stopped going to church and all that and I'm just really scared I don't know what's going wrong with him well, you sound like a very good friend to be concerned about him uh, remember that everything sorry my mic is really delayed that's okay Every everything uh Everything is good in moderation, um, but just just to be just to be clear, what is the game that that your friend is playing? Um, since my friend's a big NES dude, he, he's been playing. I I've played with him once. I think it's called Battle Toads, I believe something of that. Okay. Uh, is this is this game? Um, is it is it is it a is it dark in, in, in its theme? It, it involves... Well, there, it's, it, it has a lot of fighting in it, and I think it might... Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I, I think it sounds... You don't need to say any more. It sounds to me like he should not be playing this kind of a thing. Uh, yeah, but I know the, the, the things that... Uh, reckon, pray, approach him. Ask him to maybe... Uh, uh, ask him if he'd like to join you in, in say, an accelerated. Um, uh, but uh, but the thing is, like with my friend, and sometimes I would go um, up into his room, and um, it, I think it's also been really setting his family apart because he's been fighting with them also, and um, and he and his dad suffered a, a serious heart attack because of all the stress around the family, and. My friend was telling me that his dad, uh, his dad, he opened, he opened the, uh, he opened the door and and then he fell on the floor and he he did the dinosaur. Okay. Um.
love, inspiration. Let Richard Burness show you the way. Host of Jesus Chatline and author of the Neon Bible, Richard's goal is to rid the internet of filth. Life wasn't always easy for Richard, but through the power of our Lord, he was able to overcome the temptations of evil. Let Richard show you God's road to redemption and change your life forever. Richard Burnish, he influenced my life in a lot of ways, you know, made me who I am today. The path to redemption, yes. Richard Burnish has changed my life for the positive. I like his style. It's, it's influential. For stories, inspiration, song, and your phone calls, join us on our crusade. Richard Burnish. Hello, everybody, and welcome um, back to the Jesus chat line. Um, we're here taking your calls, uh, helping you out with any questions or uh, problems or any advice you may seek in your life. Hello, caller. You're live on the air with Richard Burnish on the Jesus chat line. I am Jesus' brother. Did you, um, did you have a question or uh, any uh, a comment or a story you'd like to share? I do. First, I want to introduce myself. My name's Christy Perry, um, but I want you to go by my initials. Can you do that for me? No, don't say it. It's a joke. No, no, no. I'm serious. I'm a married woman, and I actually have a question for you, Richard. Okay, Christy, go, go ahead. First and foremost, I'm a married woman, Richard, and I had a problem the other night. I was laying in bed with my husband, and I actually started having a dream. And I'm sorry, it really, it's hard for me to talk about. First and okay. foremost. Take, um, your, take your time. Take your time. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on, Richard. I'm sorry. Okay. So I was in bed, and I had a dream that a big, black, dark figure came into my room, Richard. Okay. And he started fucking my pussy, and I was mo No temptation has seized you except what is common to man. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can stand up under it. Remember, 
the temptation that comes into your life are no different from what others experience. And God is faithful. He will keep the temptation from becoming too strong so that you can stand up against it. When you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that you will not give in to it. So that you will not give into it. It's from 1 Corinthians 10.13. so that you will not give in to it. It's good. It's free, Hello, caller. You're live on the air. Welcome to the show. Hello? Caller. Hello? Yes. Welcome to the show, caller. Did you, did you have uh, a question for me? Hi, uh, I, I'm having. Uh, yeah, I have a question. I, I'm Hello? facing some troubles Hi, in my life. I, I, I'm having. Uh, uh, yeah, I have a question. I, I'm facing some troubles Hi, in my life. I, I, okay, turn down I'm, your, I'm, turn, turn I'm down a married radio. man. I have. Uh, just a reminder for everybody to turn down their radios when they do call in. Okay. Our, uh, our, our Stephen, our Skype crashed again. Um, so in this time, I'd just like to thank everybody for tuning in to our first uh, online version of the Jesus Chat Line. We have been uh, broadcasting our show live on C-Band uh, for the past little while, and thought to take it to the uh, online forum. So thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, I do want to apologize for some of the language that has made it onto the show. I do want to say story, sorry uh, to everyone in the room for some of the inappropriate language that has made its way onto the air. Um, as we continue to do these shows, we will, um, we will become better at, at screening the calls and, and filtering some of the inappropriate language. So um, we're just asking you to please be patient and, and, and bear with us. Hello, caller. You're, you're live on the air with Richard Burnish. Hello? Hello? Hi. Oh, yeah. I'm, I've been trying to get on this call for a while. It's, it's annoying, all these, all these stupid prank callers. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just... Um, a problem that I've had, I've like I've seen hallucinations. Like it's it's not it's not a person. It's it's like an animal of sorts. It's um it's small, but it's it's white, furry, and there's like red markings on it. But in my dreams, the the okay, I'm sorry. Um, in my dreams, this creature he asks. Do you want to make a contract with me? Okay, go go on. It's. Does, does this happen when you were uh, when you were sleeping? Like these are these are dreams you've been having. Yes, in my dreams and and in real life, and then sometimes sometimes when I sometimes when I follow it, there are there are witches. And they make people they make people do bad things. Okay. They make people. Well, um, I think we're just going to have to shut this down for tonight. Uh, they were receiving a lot of Joe calls here. Um, I don't think anyone has taken this seriously. So, 
I think we're just going to turn it, turn it off. Um, for, for those of you who, uh, who were here um, uh, to, to uh, follow us and to be helped and to help others, uh, we thank you for, for tuning in and helping us. And for those who, uh, everyone else who helped to ruin the show, your, your phone numbers will be um, written down and we will call the police. So I, you know, so thank you very much. Okay, well, all right. Well, there's still more calls coming in, so, all right, we're going to take a couple more calls. But if it continues, if this is, if this is the kind of thing that's going to continue, then we're just going to shut it down. So let that just be a, a message to everyone um, trying to call in to ruin the show. If, if, so we're going to try, keep trying. Here's one. Okay. Here's our next call. Hello, caller. You're live with Richard Burnish on the Jesus chat line. Hi. Hi, Richard. Um, hi. I just, I just really... I think these callers uh, need to pick up a Bible. Right? I agree with you. I think they really need to pick up a Bible and not only pick it up, but read it. Because, cause, you know, I, I, I enjoy reading my Bible and um, I read it every night. I, as do we. So, so, are you part of a church? Yes. So, so, who paid for that iPad? I mean, do you have old people at your church? I mean, did you? Did, or is there money going towards that? So, so all the wells that his father's servants had dug in the time of his father Abraham, and the Philistines stopped up, filling them with earth. Move away from us, you have become too powerful for us. So Isaac moved away from there and encamped in the valley of Gerar and settled there. Isaac reopened the wells that had been dug in the time of his father Abraham, which the Philistines had stopped up after Abraham died, 
and he gave them the same names his father had given them. Isaac's servants dug in the valley and discovered a well of fresh water there. But the herdsmen of Gerar quarreled with Isaac's herdsmen and said, The water is ours. So he named the well Ezek, because they disputed with him. Then they dug another well, but they quarreled over that one also, so it was named Sitna. He moved on from there and dug another well, and no one quarreled over it. Now the Lord has given us room, and we will flourish in the land. And in the morning you will see the glory of the Lord, because he has heard your grumbling against him. Who are we that you should grumble against us? Moses also said, You will know that it was the Lord when he gives you meat to eat in the evening and all the bread you want in the morning, because he has heard your grumbling against him. Who are we? You are not grumbling against us, but against the Lord. Naked I come from my mother's womb, and naked I will depart. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. Amen. So I just want to mention briefly um, about our um, accelerated Bible camps. I know that in this day and age, we're all very busy. And um, so instead of a week-long or a two-week-long camp, we've started um, a three-day Bible camp. And, pardon? It's, oh, it's like an accelerated camp. And um, now the price is what a normal one-week camp is. It's $700. But we still cram the same content of one week into three days. So it's really not a bad deal if you look at it that way. So those who are willing to pay the price, they can call us and, um, and, and sign up for the camp. Okay, now we're going we're gonna to consider taking some more calls here. Might have to restart. Okay, I think think that Skype is is um, is. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's back online. All right. Uh, thank you for calling us. You're on the air. Go ahead. All right. I just want to remind everybody that um, we're on uh, heads. What's it called again, Richard? Face Facebook. Uh, we're on Facebook. Richard, I think we're going to have to go to phone number only because it's just, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's just, it's, yeah, okay. Okay, um, go ahead, caller. Hello? Yes. Oh, hey, sorry, there's the delay, Okay. Um, all right, well, I'll just, wait, 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 don't hang up. I'll, I'll just keep talking and listen to the broadcast because it's confusing. Um, I wanted to kind of just talk from Christian to Christian. Uh, I saw this kind of on one of those places where you guys talk about a bad place on the internet. But, uh, I really want to let you know that you're doing a good thing. Um, please be strong. These people are very intense about what they do. 
Uh, they try to tear people apart, but please be strong, really. Um, I know those moments where you have to stop and just take a break, but just make sure you pray and really let the Lord work through you. Don't be angry. Don't hate on gay people. I mean, that's one of those things that I have trouble with. I'm not saying I'm gay. It's just crazy. But I'm trying to just call you to you have support. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. And try not to do it for the money, but <laughs> that's just something else. But be strong, okay? Um, I don't really have anything to say except uh, I don't know. In a way, I wonder, like, what do you look for in a church? Because uh, I've had trouble finding a church after my pastor uh, that I grew up with for 17 years. He passed away and started going to church. So, what would you recommend? Either that or that's too general. Uh, what would you say uh, would be a good daily devotional? Um, okay, I th- think we got the gist of the call. I'm, I apologize, caller. It was cutting in and out. Um, I would look into AOL for a better internet connection. Um, but basically, I think you were asking, what do you look for in a church? Um, and I think what you can do is just attend. Try to at- attend some of your local churches. They're free. Um, and you don't have to pay to go to a church. They, they do pass the basket around. Um, but if you just want to go to check it, um, you can just walk in, sit down, and just listen to what the priest, priest has to say, or the priestess. And if it's good, then stay there. Also look to see if they're doing things, if it's like a tight-knit community, like if they have bingo and gatherings and, and, and all kinds of things like that. Go ahead. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. I do. Hey, um, all right, I got a question. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, um, there was a person earlier, and you called him Blackie? What what does that mean? Oh, the gentleman, um, or the caller, referred to their, themselves as Blackie, as that was their name. And I believe Richard responded by calling them that. By calling them that. Uh, go ahead, caller. Hello? Uh, yes, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi. Hi, this is Randall, and I am a homosexual. Wow, I was trying to get a hold of you all night. Oh, I'm glad you're able to get through. Well, finally, how you two been doing? Welcome back to your first show. Well, thank you very much. Yes, we, um, we, we um, have been broadcasting on the C-band satellite, and yes, we I thought we would try the, the Internet. And we recognize you from, from our C-band days, and uh, yes. we thank you for joining us. I'm, I'm so glad to see you guys in this new venue. Having a lot of success tonight. You got 1,049 people in there. Oh. And I do see a few homosexuals there in chat. Shout out. Now, now you do know, um, caller, that we, that we're we do frown upon that. Uh, we're we're trying to to cure, uh, so to speak, the. the I internet. know that, baby. I I know all about that, and it's because of you and Richard. I've decided to clean myself up. That's that's w- absolutely wonderful. Oh, say hi to Richard. Say hey, Richard. Hey, say that. Hey. Hi, hey, Richard. Richard wants to know if you have disposed of your uh, gene cutoffs yet. Well, let, uh, the, the, I'm glad he asks that. Can you put him in the, in the cam view as well? I want to show you, you to like what to, I've developed into. Richard, would you like to um, enter into the... Pop your little head in there, baby. Just pop your head. Come on. Richard, would you like to... Okay. Just, just pop your head in because I have something to show you, both of you. Okay. And I want to thank both of you. I've cleaned myself up. And if you can just hold on one second. Now, if you look at that, you'll see how nice and clean I am right now, right? Okay. Do you see my video? Do you know how this works, Richard? 
Why? There should be video. Do you see it, Stephen? No. Okay, so we've clicked on your. Hold on. Richard's more familiar with it with this work, and he's he uses heads the Facebook. No. Oh yes! By the way, everyone, go on their Facebook, friend them. What is your Facebook link? Uh, it's, I think it's uh, Facebook um, slash Jesus. It's Jesus chat line. That's what it is. Yeah, I, I can't. Um, I can't figure the video here. It's not working. That sucks so much because I cleaned myself up so well. I wanted to present myself to you tonight, oh, and now it's like fucking gone. Okay. That, okay. No, oh wait, wait, wait. Sorry about that. Okay. I just get mixed up with this shit. That, oh, oh, we appreciate that very much. Unfortunately, uh, we, we have not been able to, to bring up your video. Is there any way that at some point you could send that to us and then maybe on the next um, Oh, you broadcast? know what I can do? I can just send it over Skype right now and you can see it. I'm okay. Not. There it is. I'm sending it. But my video is on. Okay. We now have a file that's coming in. It's a, a screenshot, apparently. Wow, what's your temperature over there? We have like a massive heat wave. I I believe uh, with the with the humid X, we're, we're at we're over a hundred degrees today. Yeah. Okay, the picture has come through. Now we're gonna find it here. Oh my God, this is like the suspense has got to be killing you. Okay. Oh, and also, I like Richard's new look. He's like Jean-Claude Godzam over there. <clears throat> um, oh, my. What do you see? See how clean I look? You guys told me that I should clean myself up. And so I got the razor. Wh- and I just thought, look at how clean and smooth. Don't you want to rub your face on it? That is obscene, that is obscene, that is obscene. I, I apologize. What the fuck are you talking about? For those who could not see that image, what was sent to us was a very obscene image of... Well, let the chat decide. What did you see? It was an image below, I'm assuming, this man's waist. And there was no clothing involved. Did Richard say that I should clean myself up? Did he say that? Say that? Say that? Say that? Say that? All this goddamn, all this Skype. Our apologies, Randall. Our Skype just crashed again. Randall, I know you can still hear me. I, and that picture. What happens now when Richard has to take his computer in to the local computer shop to have it cleaned, to have all the viruses removed? And then they see that. It's unbelievable. Richard? Would you like, would you care to see what, it's, no. it's disgusting. No, shut, delete it. I think we have to, we have to somehow delete it before this goes to the repairman. Because they can see that kind of stuff. A hot-tempered man stirs up dissension, but a patient man calms a quarrel. 
The end of a matter is better than its beginning, and patience is better than pride. It is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. And that was taken from um, the King James Version of the Bible. Okay. Well, all right. Our Skype's back up now. And we're going to continue on. And I hope that everything's going to be fine when our computer goes in tomorrow to our repairman. Yeah, the, the repairman can maybe see why the Skype keeps crashing. I think they run a, di- a diagnostic. Some commercials, maybe? Yeah, I think um, we're going we're gonna to take one more call, and then we're going to show you um, a, a new ad, uh, one that you haven't seen yet tonight. And then Richard, I think, will come back for a couple calls, and then we'll probably wrap things up for this evening. Okay? Well, we'd like to thank you all for joining us. We'd like to thank our mods, for which was, quite frankly, a a mission impossible. Um, But we thank them for hanging in there. And um, we'd like to thank you all for joining us. Is something wrong with our AOL, maybe? I think our AOL is is an issue. Um, I, I'm afraid the next call we're going to, or the next show, we're going to have to take phone numbers only. And, um, Tell them about our, our, our Facebook, uh, Facebook slash Jesus Chatline. Fa- yeah, we're on, if you go to JesusChatline.com, you'll find a whole lot of information there. For example, our Twitter accounts, uh, Facebook, um, I think it links to Richard's Facebook. Mine is, um... Stephen Chilton, and um, and go there, and there's some wonderful um, information. Um, also on our website, you'll be able to register for our um, accelerated Bible camps, um, and you'll see that it's not. You won't have to pay the price, like a huge price, to go to it. Go ahead, caller. Go ahead, call us. Six, 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 Go ahead. Thank you for calling. Hello? Hi. Can you hear me? I can, yes. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Uh, I've been calling for a while. I really appreciate what you guys are doing, and I'm, I'm a little upset, as I'm sure you guys are. Uh, I'd like to offer up, to start with, uh, a quote from the Bible. Okay. It's Proverbs 12, 25. Mm-hmm. Anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down, but a good word makes him glad. Um, it's one of my favorite lines from the Bible, and it seems like you guys are getting a little bit flustered, and I'm sure some of the other legitimate callers who were trying to get through are... Uh, a little bit frustrated too. If I can make a couple suggestions, um, I just I think that it it might be better to switch to the the phone colors because there's a little more accountability. I think you're absolutely right. It's been you know because I, I tried getting through on the phone line and it wasn't working. Uh, I think that the other thing, and this is my own theory, the, a lot of the people in the chat, from what I'm seeing and from some of the other callers, are atheists and Mm -hmm. people who don't have God in their life. And so this, I specifically started calling after the atheist caller because I have what I think is infallible proof of God. Um, and this, I will need your help with because this is a, uh, physical sort of, uh, you know, it, it requires somebody to do it. And I, can't show them. Um, if you could, bear with me here. Could you take your shoe? Um, I just need you to take your shoe off. Oh, I'm not wearing shoes right now, caller. We we remove our shoes at the front door, kind of like a Jap, uh, Jap. How do you say it? Jap Japanese. Jap. Yeah. House. Ah, uh, I understand. Um, do you 
has socks on? Yes. Can you take one of your socks? Go on. And can you place it above your head, not on your head, because that would be a little bit gross. I think this is a joke. This is a joke. So I'm going to turn things over. We're going to show you our, um, our new ad. Um, before I go, I'm going to read you something from... Um, uh, this is uh, Cygnus 2112. Uh, and it goes, um, uh, Attention all planets of the Solar Federation. We have assumed control. Okay, I'm going to now pass... Uh, the, or we're going to take a short break. Um, and then... Uh, We'll, we'll wrap things up with Richard Burnish. So I'd like to thank you all for joining us this evening. This was a good trial run, and uh, we will talk again with you very soon. Um, and, and on the other side of the break will be Richard Burnish. Thank you. to Richard and Stephen with a dream of a new house of worship, a house devoted to the one true word, the Neon Bible. He is our Savior. He is the Son of God. He is the author of our salvation. He beckons, follow me. He instructs, go and do thou likewise. He pleads, keep my commandments. Hope. Love, inspiration. Let Richard Burnish show you the way. Host of Jesus Chatline and author of the Neon Bible, Richard's goal is to rid the internet of filth. Life wasn't always easy for Richard, but through the power of our Lord, he was able to overcome the temptations of evil. Let Richard show you God's road to redemption and change your life forever. Richard Burnish, he influenced my life in a lot of ways, you know made me who I am today. The path to redemption, yes. Richard Burnish has changed my life for the positive. I like his style. It's, it's influential. For stories, inspiration, song, and your phone calls, join us on our crusade. Richard Burnish.
the show. Uh, <clears throat> hello, everybody, and, and welcome back to the show. I uh, just want to thank everybody for, uh, f- for tuning in and supporting us. Uh, just to remind everybody uh, to go to JesusChatLine.com. Uh, where we have uh, uh, all of the information about our cause and about the things that we're doing. Um, it also will have uh, our next show uh, time. will also be on there, uh, jesuschatline.com, uh, and also on Facebook. So, uh, But every, you can get everything off of the jesuschatline.com. Uh, I think it links to, to everything Okay, let's uh, take a couple more calls, uh, and then uh, I think we need to turn down our computers and say goodnight. Hello, caller. You're live on the air with Richard Burnish. Am I actually online this time? Yes, you're live. Welcome to the program. Hey, it's nice to finally talk to you guys. I've been online all night. Well, we're, 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 we're happy you, you've made it through. So, uh, hey, um, I just want to kind of give some backstory about what I kind of need help with. Um, I need some advice. Sure, that's, um, the, that's why we're here. Uh, I'm a uh, soldier in the U.S. Army. Uh, lately, I've been finding it difficult to try and practice my faith, especially around other soldiers. Uh, it seems like... Uh, it's just it's been really hard to practice especially since we have a lot of different religions Um, we're not supposed to be political at work so I can't really spread the word Um, frankly also uh, some of the people I've been talking to don't believe in Jesus they don't believe in the word they don't believe in any religion really yeah um Frankly, I've been losing faith a lot, um, and it kind of hurts to say that because going through basic, it took a lot of going to the church and talking to Jesus and God, maybe not directly, obviously, but through prayer and just trying to get some help to go through that. But lately, I've just been finding it hard to actually practice. You know what I mean? I can understand that. Uh yeah, we received a, a call uh, very similar to this on on our C-band, uh, where uh, the young soldier uh, was also, uh, he called and he told a bit of a story of his life where he also uh, experienced the same type of um, troubles uh, in, 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 you know, kind of spreading the word or, or applying his 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 faith in his line of work but he he called in with a moving story about his friend that was um that was um uh, killed by a, a roadside bomb and uh it kind of it kind of changed uh everything changed for him at that point um uh, he he saw that the word of god is is, is the most important thing uh, no matter what because uh, your life could end tomorrow you know and and, and it's and it's it's best to be prepared huh. so I would advise you to to not to be afraid to to stand up for what you believe in and and to shout out the word, you know, the true word. Well, that's uh, another thing I've been having a problem with is when I do practice my faith, a lot of people don't seem to agree with my particular views on the Bible itself. I'm mainly Methodist, and uh, the way, like, some people don't seem to understand the difference. Uh, Methodism, uh, one of the big things is, you, you guys mentioned earlier, homosexuality. Yes. Uh, what my pastor taught me when I was going through Sunday school and able to attend my church regularly was that it's homosexuality isn't wrong so much as it's just a path. What he explained it to me was that 
one could be homosexual, and I'm not, but this is just, like, I'm explaining what, what I believe. Um, did, did, sorry to interrupt. Did you say, I, I just to recap, did you say that you were uh, Methodist? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I'm going to go right to this next call. Uh, hello, and welcome to the Jesus Chat room. Uh, hey, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Welcome hello? To the, welcome to the program. Oh, hi. Uh, I was just calling to wonder, how do you feel that there is no God? Hello, caller. You're live on the air with Richard Burnish. Hello? Yes, you're, you're live. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a lag. Hello? Hello, Hello caller. Okay. Uh, hello, you're, you're live on the air with Richard Burnish. Yeah, Hi. Hello and welcome to the program. Yeah, is this Stephen or Richard? This is Richard. Yeah, how are you? Uh, I'm doing very well, sir. Uh, thank you for asking. Okay. Um, I'm just being serious here. I'm not like the others. I'm not going to say Bible or something like that, all right? Okay. Um, I'm, I have a question. Is Go ahead. this a, a, a phony show? For laughing, or is this a serious Christianity show? Well, uh, this is a, a serious Christianity show. We uh, had the Jesus chat line on the C band satellite and free to air satellites. This is our first online show, and uh, we're, we're, you know, we're kind of ironing out some of the bugs because we're getting a lot of uh, prank uh, callers today. But we, I assure you that uh, this this show is. Uh, a real, a, a serious show. All right. Um, I have another question. Okay. So, you, you, you're a Christian, right? Oh, yes. Uh, and since you're Christian, you obviously fear God, right? Yes. So, and God says, do not curse. Yes. Is that right? That is right, yes. So, basically, if you fear God, and you are with the sentence of uh, not cursing, then why I've, saw, I've, I've seen you cursing? Uh, I know that I have not, I do not curse. No, that's incorrect. So you're saying that you have never cursed? Um, no, that, yes, that, that's what I'm saying. I, I have not ever cursed, yes. Yeah, but um, I saw you on uh, the other show when you were in prison, and the lady said, uh, I have five bucks to donate, and you cursed her. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, caller, when I was in prison? Is that, is that what you just is that, is that what you said? Well, I, I can assure you I've, I've not ever been to prison. All right. So, I have another question. Okay. Is Jesus God, or is Jesus the Son of God? He is God's Son. All right. Um, can you prove it? Uh, yes. Uh, if you just go and pick up a, a Bible and, and read through it, uh, all the proof you need is, is, is right there. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, just to clarify everything, uh, Stephen uh, Chilton and, and Richard Burnish, myself, we have never uh, been to prison. I'm not sure uh, what that, that call was about. Um, most likely another joke. Hello, caller, you're live. 
Brother, Craig is my name. <laughs> Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll be right. We'll be right back. Okay, let's let's just turn it off. Mute the microphone. Turn it off. Let's just. No one's. They're making the show into a joke, and I know that we're not supposed to give up, or we're not, you know, that we should stay the course. But it's hard, Stephen. They're making a fool out of us. This isn't like sea band. I know, and then it's not like it's it at all. The channel got flagged. Is it flagged? I know, but soon that great big, you know, was on top. You know what I'm saying? Hold. When we were, f we're flagged. We were flagged, and then before you know it, we were no longer on top. But that great big, you know, was on top. Let's just shut it down, man. Let's just shut it down. The thing that I'm worried about is that my name is like. My name is out there. It's Richard Burnish. And the thing is, is that you know, that I know, that you know. I think. Yeah, let's just shut it down. I think we've attempted to do this. And quite frankly, I'm ready to go to the police. Well, maybe that's what we have to do for next time. Maybe that's what we're going to have to do for next time because. Like, we're sitting here and we're trying our best, right? And the, there's calling up and saying, what have you? You know, it, it's, 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 it's goddamn, it's, it's goddamn un fucking unacceptable. I know, I know a cop. And I'm wondering if maybe we, we got the cop over. And the cop stood behind us while we talked. Is that what happened? Or, so see, see, I think the what if we get see, an old sh man... Read the chat. We've seen that got on the chat. Look at the chat. It said that got on. It's, how do you turn this off? What if we got an old priest to stand by? Um, just wanted to thank uh, everybody for watching the show. Good night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I'm actually like I'm calling them right now. It's coming through their camera or something, I guess. No, I'm actually like I'm calling them right now. It's coming through their camera or something, I guess. Their stupid fuckers left it on. I love all of you. joke. Why couldn't Jesus hold Skittles? Yeah. Why couldn't Jesus hold Skittles? Because he has holes in his hand. 